Coming with pit guard, Asia Bug. Um, last season uh, was supposed to be your senior season, yeah. kind of for the second time. <laughs> um, you had already had an injury that caused you to miss your first senior season, got the fifth year, and then um, got some, some tough medical news early on in the season. What, what happened, and, and how did you find out that blood clots were an issue for you? Um, so it was around the fifth game in. Um, we were playing Georgetown. We actually drove there, played, then we drove back that same night. Um, and I was experiencing some discomfort the following day. Mind you, it was Monday. We got back Tuesday, and we're supposed to leave out on Wednesday for a tournament in Tennessee. So I experienced pain Tuesday, and it just kind of progressed. Um, and then I want to say it was Thanksgiving night. I was rushed to the hospital because I couldn't breathe. And then they told me I had blood clots in my lungs. What did you know about that? What did you think that, that meant? Did you know anything? No, so I didn't know anything. Um, when we went to the doctors and they told me, um, yeah, she has blood clots, and everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, okay, well, I got a game tomorrow, so let's wrap this up. And they're telling me you got to be on blood thinners for maybe four to six months or something like that. And then that's when everybody's reaction kind of made me feel like it was a little bit more serious than what I thought. Because you can't play while you're on blood thinners. So that there goes the season. Um, so it was. it's still surreal to me that that happened. So it, it was crazy. Other than having to go on the medication, has it affected it, you at all? You, you know, uh, any other physical effects? Not really physical effects. Um, but you're more so, you just don't feel like yourself, you know, you know, can't work out really. Workout that you can do is that of, you know, an everyday person. Um, I can't exceed a certain heart rate because I had them in my lungs and caused damage. So I couldn't exert that much energy. Um, so it was just a real stagnant six months. So I just, I, you know, I just didn't feel like myself. When did you get the kind of, feeling that you wanted to try to come back was it right away or was that something that you thought about for a little bit um well after i received the diagnosis i wasn't sure what my options were um so after talking with many doctors and hematologists you know they you know they said as long as there's no other factors working against you you should be fine to return to play so i mean the minute i was diagnosed i was ready to, to get back in shape so um, i was always ready it's something that can reoccur. Yeah. Is, is that something that you kind of ha- I mean, can't get out of your mind, I guess? Yeah, um, I guess it worries me, which they say you shouldn't think about. But if something like that were to happen again, that there goes my career. So um, I would have to be in blood thinners forever if I got another blood clot. So. When were you able to, are you still on the blood thinners? So I just got taken off of my blood thinners Monday, so two days ago. And... and- do you feel any different, or is it? Oh yeah, like I feel great. I started working out the, the day I, I was taken off of them. Um, they're gonna progressively get me back into to contact and exerting a lot of energy. So I'm not just I'm not back totally yet, but I'm clear. I'm clear. What's it gonna be like to get? I mean, obviously, you're not in basketball shape after having you know that amount of time down. What What's this process gonna be like for you to get ready for the season physically? Um. I think mentally I, I've grown, and so I think that's the hardest part is your mental. So um, really it's just about, you know, how much I put into it, how much I want to get out of it is, is, is what's going to, I guess, be my, my struggle. Um, but mentally I'm prepared for whatever. Now, you, so you spent most of the last two basketball seasons not playing. Yeah. What, what? How do you feel like you've used that time? How do you feel like you've changed or grown as a person or – as a basketball player, even though you weren't be able to be on the floor? Um, just like Tony said, I've just grown mentally. Um, I've progressed as a person um, outside of basketball. Um, I've grown so much uh, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. So I just feel like I'm in a, a much better headspace than I was two, three years ago. Um, I think I'm better built for it. What was it like kind of being around the team last year, especially you know, seeing them struggle through a good bit of the season and, and not being able to, to contribute? Um, I mean, it sucks. Uh, for the last two years, it sucks because um, sometimes you look at them and it's like you don't realize how good you guys are. Um, and I felt like when I got hurt, it was just like a down, a spiral effect, kind of a domino effect. So um, it sucks because we have so much talent, and all we have to do is believe in ourselves and 
that's why I'm so I'm glad to go, I'm glad to come back and kind of instill that in everybody. That, you know, we're just as good as anybody else when you bring it. Did, did you? Uh, I saw you like some involved in some timeouts and mm-hmm. stuff. Did you try to take some kind of role on uh, away from the court last year? Uh, so I attribute a lot of that to my coach. He that's that's the spot he sees me in as being a leader. And he was like, "Well, look, this is what we're gonna do." Every time out, I want you to be the first one to talk to them. And so that is kind of new for me. Um, I don't mind being a leader, but I'm more so like, you know, I'm kind of a quiet leader. So he wants me to kind of get uncomfortable. So that was that was him trying to, to push me to grow a little bit. Spent two years as a coach. You can put that on your resume, I guess. Uh, is coaching something like you I would got con- some experience now. <laughs> is coaching something you would consider getting into eventually? Um, I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but something that I have put more thought into is maybe playing post college. Um, that's something that he said that would be an option if I wanted to do that. So what's your relationship with him? Like, obviously, you know, wasn't the coach that recruited you here to pit, but what have you taken from him in a little over a year? Man, it, relationships, um, it goes such a long way. And, um, just how you treat people is a reflection of who you are and the type of people you keep. The company you keep is, is a big reflection of how you treat them. Um, so it, it just, it was a total 360 from what I was used to to what I got. And, of course, it's uncomfortable for both parties. But um, we, I was bought in from day one, so I've really enjoyed Coach. In my time with him, he is an extremely positive, energetic yeah. person. Yeah. Is he always like that? Does it ever turn off? Yeah, some people think it's like sometimes, and it's not. It's all day, every day, phone call, he's like that. You see him, he's like that. He's never, he's never down, so. Is that infectious? Do do you see that, you know, rubbing off on yourself and the other players? Yeah, um, you know, sometimes we can, you know, naturally people can be negative a little bit, um, and we try to like eliminate that, especially when we're on the court around each other. Um, I'm, that really stemmed from him. What do you feel like this season is going to be like for you know you as a player? How do you sort of set expectations for yourself? How, what do you want to accomplish? Um, definitely postseason. I just want us to be like really good. Um, and probably have one of the best seasons we've had since I've been here, and we can do that. So, I mean, my goal is just for everybody to be like on the same page and for us to get out there and click, and then the rest will fall into place. What do you know about? I guess the, you got some some talented players coming in. What, what do you feel like is going to be the mix of the team and how they're going to fit into to what you have coming back? I think it's going to be very up tempo. Um, that's always been their like mo. They want to go fast, fast, fast. And having some young players who can just go, go, um, it's just going to work real well. I mean, our mentality has shifted with the returners that we have, so I think we're going to mesh really well. What do you kind of hope that when you're finally finished here, Pitt, uh, that you can kind of look back on and and sort of hang your hat on as, as what you did in your time here, what you accomplished, things like that. Just that. Like, I, I never gave up, or and no matter what obstacle I, I was faced with, um, I stayed optimistic, I stayed positive. Um, I just, you know, always had a vision of where I wanted to be, so 